What's up, Rick Squad? Welcome back to the live feed, guys. Where will this video be? Um, this video will be posted. Episode two, transfer talk live show. Just waiting for people to join up in here. Going live. What's up, guys? We got Chris Racial Games at Vanco LC Ortega. Kamenko Jr. up in here. What's up, fellas? What's up? Oh, man. How shitty is John Stones? How shitty is Mangala? They all shit. They all shit, man. They, they, they. They they they, sh they gotta go in the, the pile with Clavan and Lovren and them guys, man. Seriously. Seriously. Hello, MW Trolley. What's up? Rec Rectomite. What's up, man? What's up? I'm not hating on anybody. It's just terrible, man. It's just terrible. Two matches in a row. Everybody could make mistakes. You know, anybody could make mistakes, but two matches in a row. Like, uh-uh. Unacceptable for you know, professional playing for such a big club. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. No pity. No pity at all. The moment you start to pity performances like this, you're going to end up, you know, with a mediocre team. And it, it just that's gonna, it, it's, it ain't going to happen. I bet he's going to get an airfall from Pep Guardiola. It's guaranteed. Guaranteed it's going to happen. And he should not play the next game versus Liverpool. Like, come on. That's a big game. That's a big game. You know, seriously. I'd rather play Mangala than play John Stone in the next game. But guys, we're here to talk about transfers. This is a live transfer show. What's up, Sammy Kiani, man? What's up, everyone who have joined this live stream right now? Guys, we, I want to get to some transfers, you know, confirmed, almost confirmed rumors and stuff like that. I decided to do the transfer show like this because it's really hard to do a transfer video and actually edit it. It's like it's like I tried that one time. It was so hard and the outcome wasn't, you know, it wasn't fruitful. Let's just say it wasn't fruitful. But guys, make sure you smash the thumbs up button for this video one time. And if you're not part of the notification squad, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to know every time I drop a video. But guys, let's get into these transfers, man. Let's get into these transfers. Um, Guys, Wesley Snyder moving from Nice in France to Al Garafa in Qatar. Al Garafa, they're probably paying him really... Oh, not so early. Stream interrupted. But as I was saying, as I was saying, I don't know much about these Qatari teams, but I know that Xavi Hernandez, um, he coaches in Qatar. So let me look up some... Guys, do you know anything about Al Garafa in Qatar? Al Garafa, FC. Qatar, China, MLS, where people go to retire. You're definitely right about that, man. You're definitely right about that. So, um, let me see. I don't know much about this deal, but, um, oh boy. He is moving to Qatar, I guess, to finish off his career, man. You know, he had a beautiful career, I must say. Wesley Snyder. Um, he once played for Real Madrid, didn't he? You know, so... You know, he's going to, you know, walk off into the sunset in Qatar. What's up, Romario Jackson, all the way from Jamaica, man? What's up? Guys, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, make sure you smash it. But Wesley Snyder has moved to Al Garafa in Qatar. I don't know much about the details of this um, deal. You know, he's a Netherlands international. He's probably retired by now. He should retire. But I guess his stint in Nice was, you know, it wasn't so good. Um... Next up, order to run from Barcelona in Spain to Istanbul Basaksehir here in the Turkish Super League. I don't think this one is officially confirmed just yet, but you know, Arda Turan has been trying to plot a move out of Barcelona for quite a while. You know, so um I can definitely see this one being wrapped up in a few days. What do you guys think about this move? Do you think it's a good move for Arda Turan? What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm reading some comments right now. What's up, DriftRX01? Prime time. What's up? Definitely, man. Definitely. 
I could see you got upset about the match today. Of course, man. All reasons to be upset. Like, I don't know what the hell is John Stones doing. You know, it's really frustrating, man. It's frustrating. You know, because you're playing a team who you expect to dominate and you, you, you know you're going to go and put up a mediocre performance. Like, unacceptable, man. Seriously. No excuses for that one at all. Can't be lenient. Anytime you start being lenient, people start to take advantage of, you know, and think it's okay to make a mistake and all that. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. And if we're going to win the English Premier League, if we're going to win the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, you know, we can be making silly mistakes like this. Leave mistakes like this for Liverpool and Arsenal and Man U, Chelsea and these teams. But, you know... Not for us. Daniel Refi is up in here, man. What's up, Daniel Refi? Um, LC Ortega, what's up? But guys, order to run former Atletico Madrid star man who moved to Barcelona, basically wasted a few seasons of his life. And, you know, he's rumored to move to Istanbul Basaksa here in the Turkish Super League to finish off his career in the right way. So, um, definitely. Next. Transfer, guys, I want to talk about is Costantinos Mavropanos moving from PAS Giannina to Arsenal FC. Oh, man. Oh, boy. And I think Arsenal loaned him right back out. Who did Arsenal loan him right back out to? I really don't know the details of that, but Arsenal loaned him right back out. But, guys, hold the um, hold the what you call it. Hold the uh, rumors for until we're ready. Whenever we're done with um, all these, you know, confirmed, almost concern, confirmed signings, we will go into the rumors, guys. But um, definitely. And guys, don't remember, you know, for now, just for now, bad words are, are, are blocked from the, the live chat. You know, words like suck and, you know, and bad words like that. You know, we got to respect each other right now. Okay. Um, guys, Constantinos, Constantinos Mavropanos, highly rated Greek defender moving to Arsenal. They loan him right back out. Let me look up the details of Mavropanos. I never heard of this player before then. You know, definitely send him out on loan. I really don't know what's going on with this detail, but he's a 20-year-old Greek defender. I probably should have looked up all the details for these um signing before I did the um the transfer talk. But I guess I was looking forward for you guys to actually help me, you know, with all these details and stuff. But anyways, um let's move on. Martin Caceres, the Uruguayan defender, I think he formerly played for Southampton. He's moving from Hellas Verona in Italy, and this is a big move for him. He's moving to Lazio. So he's 30 years old and this is a big move. I actually used him in FIFA before and he was really good. I think he probably declined. But um, Martin Caceres to Hellas, uh, from Hellas Verona to Italy. How did he get to Hellas Verona? I don't know. But um, the next move, John Guidetti, the um, Swedish forward. From Celta Vigo to Alavis. I actually like this move because John Gadetti is to be blamed. John Gadetti is to be blamed for um, Celta Vigo not getting to the finals of the Europa League last season. He could have, he, they could have, they could have finished off Man United, but you gotta blame John Gadetti. Oh, I think yes, Martin Caceres played in some top teams, you know, when he was younger, definitely. But um, yeah. But John Gudetti moving from Celta Vigo to Alaves. I think Alaves is kind of um, struggling a bit, um, but he will move there. Next one is a central midfielder by the name of Vendel. He moved from Fluminense in Brazil to Sporting CP. He's for 7 million euros. 7 million, this is a big sign in a 20-year-old Brazilian. Moving to Portugal, big, big sign in. That's just a, I think that, that club is just a buffer for him to move to a bigger club because look out for that name, central midfielder called Wendell or Wendell. 
as they do pronounce names with W with a you know V pronunciation in in some countries. But um, I really like this um transfer though. He's moving to Sporting. Sporting, you know, they be playing in um European competition, so that's good for him also. And another signing that I really like is Josip Mitch Misic. He's a 23 year old. Um, I think he's from might be from Croatia, one of those places. HNK. Rehe Rehika to Sporting as well. So Sporting doing some pretty good business right now in the January transfer window. 2 million euros. He's also a central midfielder. All right, let me read some comments. Um, okay, comments. Griezmann should move after Atletico got Costa. Well, that's a very, very good point. Very good point. Okay, let's move on. Big one, guys. Big one to talk about. This one should be really fun to talk about. Schalke, um, Piaka to Schalke. I talked about that in the last transfer show. So go check that video out. That was a live video as well. So I will not speak about Piaka again. But the big one, 33-year-old former Manchester City, former Juventus, former Man United, and current Boca Junior striker, Former Shanghai Shen Shenhua <laughs> striker Carlos Tevez. Oh boy, this one is a funny one. This one is really a funny one because look, he went to um he went to China, and I think he made actually I can't remember the details of the deal, but he made forty million dollars or pounds or euros, whatever he made. And he only made 20 appearances. So he made actually 2 million, 2 million, let's say dollars, 2 million dollars per appearance. I think he only scored four goals. He had a terrible time down there, hampered by niggles and injuries. He just went down there, as they said, he filled up a Santa sock, Christmas socks, and he came back. That's what you call exploiting the whole, you know, Chinese Super League. And I love it. I absolutely love it. The smartest man in football right now. He did it. He went down there. He said, whatever, collect my money. I'm out back to Boca Juniors. I love it, man. What a crook. What a jackal. Carlos Tevez. <laughs> but guys, the next one I want to talk about is Nicolas Tagliafico. 25-year-old left back from Independiente. Moving, Independiente is a club from Argentina, I think. Um, moving to Ajax in the Eredivisie. So for 4 million euros, I really like this move. I really, really like this move. And you know that players who move to Ajax usually get, you know, Ajax has a really good system going on, help the youngsters, and they move on to bigger things. Davinci Sanchez, for example, springs to mind. There's, a, there's many others, but... Davinci Sanchez. I think um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic passed through Ajax as well. But let's move on. I really like this one. Taglia Fico. I like that name as well. Let's move on. Another big one. Nigel De Jong. The guy who kicked Xavi Olanzo in his chest at the World Cup. Can't even remember what World Cup. I think it was the 2010 World Cup. That one that Spain won. Nigel De Jong. That's the man. He moving from Galatasaray in the Turkish Super League to F S V Mines 05 in the German Bundesliga on or free. He's a central defensive midfielder and Mines will really, you know, they will need his um his experience and his quality in their efforts to, to stay up because they are currently, you know, not far from the relegation zone in the German Bundesliga. Alright, let's move on from Nigel De Jong. The Netherlands or former Netherlands international. I don't even know if he still plays, but the Netherlands team really sucks right about now. They did not qualify for the World Cup. So um, next one, Robert Mazan, 23-year-old. He's moving from MSK Zelina to Celta de Vigo. He's a left back. I think this player is Croatian. I'm not sure. I should have wrote that down as well. But Robert Mazan, Robert Mazan. Guys, have you ever heard about Robert Mazan? Because I never heard about Robert Mazan at all. Yes, he's a Slovakian. I got that one wrong. Slovakian. 
left back and that looks good. I like that moving to um, La Liga in Spain from, I think it might be the Slovenia. Let me see, what is this team? M MSK, yes, this is a Slovakian league. So he, wait, wait, he's Slovakian. What am I saying, Slovenian? He's Slovakian, so he's moving from the Slovakian league to La Liga. Big jump, and I, you know, bet he's getting some good money for that. So the next one I want to talk about would be a big deal for the guys from Mexico. And this is Jeremy Menez. He's a 30-year-old French center forward. He's moving from Antalya Sport in the Turkish Super League to um, Club America in the Liga MX. So another foreign player from Europe in Liga MX. He's moving for only 250,000 euros. Like, wow, that's really cheap. That's a bargain. That could prove to be a bargain if Menez goes there and he just rips the Liga MX apart, which I don't know if it's going to happen, but let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Okay, the next transfer we want to get through confirmed is Cedric Tenchert, 20-year-old German um, center forward moving from FC Nuremberg to Schalke. Big move moving from Bundesliga 2, I think, to Bundesliga 1, 1 million euros. So Schalke doing some really good business there. Always good to get young talent into your team. You know, scoop them up before Bayern Munich does. Or scoop them up so you could sell them to Bayern Munich later. But next one is Kreppen Diata. 18-year-old center forward from Sarpsburg in, I think this is in the Norwegian League. Norwegian League to Club Bruges in the Belgium Julepa League, 2 million euros. So he must be highly rated. Kreppen Diata. Very, very nice name moving to Club Bruges from Sarpsburg, 08 from the Norwegian League. So that's a pretty um, big move. That's a big move. All right, let's move on to the next one. Number 15 transfer is Domag, Domajoy, Domajoy Vida, I think his name is Vida, but I know him, Vida, 28 year old, big Croatian, center half, moving from the um, Dinamo Kiev to Besiktas. Besiktas, man, I, I love this team. I really love this team and I love the business that they do. I really don't like the business of selling Jenk um, Tucson to Everton. That one I don't like, but they usually tend to bring in and attract really quality players. Um, so he moved in there from Dynamo Cave on a free. Also, I really appreciate that players are actually moving on from like the Ukrainian league that, um, you know, they've been playing in for a while. You know, some of the Brazilians playing for Shakhtar Donetsk need to move as well. Fred, come over, Man City. Um, but... Vida moving to Besiktas will help them out a lot. You know, they play Champions League. They have at least two more matches, home and away leg versus Bayern Munich. So, you know, the big center half will be benefit, um, um, a benefit for um, Besiktas. The next one is Benjamin Verbic, 24-year-old. I think he might be Croatian. He's moving from FC Copenhagen over to D Dynamo Cave. So that's, uh, you know, one is leaving, one is coming. So Dynamo Cave doing some, you know, good business as well in order to compete versus their bitter rivals, Shakhtar Donetsk. Because it's either Shakhtar Donetsk or Dynamo Cave in the Champions League is one of the, you know, the two. The other teams never show up. But last but not least, I want to talk about one more transfer and this is actually a loan deal from Kevin Georges and Kudu moving from Tottenham Hotspur in the English Premier League to guess who? Guess who? Burnley. This I love. This transfer I love because they have Kevin Georges and Kudu rotting on the Tottenham Hotspur bench like waste. Wasting a really talented player from, uh, I think he's French. I think he played for either Marseille or Lyon. I don't know. I always get mixed up between who played for who. But Nkuru is really good. I've seen him play. And he's just been wasted away in Tottenham. Like, why do Tottenham buy these players? Like, they bought Clinton NG and they didn't do nothing with him. Like, you either 
waste away at Tottenham or you, 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 you're just okay. You know, but that wraps up the confirmed signings that I written down in my book here and that I wanted to talk about. Um, you guys probably didn't know about some of these transfers, but it's really nice discussing them with you. But guys, here comes the fun part. The fun part, the fun part. Let's talk about rumors. All right. In order for me to read your comment, guys, make sure you put a hashtag rich squad at the back of it or else I'm not reading it. Okay, let's go. First transfer rumor. First transfer rumor. Let's talk about it. Daddy Riffy, bye. See you later. Um, first transfer rumor you guys want me to chat about or what, what, want us to talk about, make sure to put the hashtag rich squad at the end of your comment for me. To pay any attention. Okay. Advenco with the first one. Did you hear that Usain Bolt is training with Dortmund Red Squad? Yes, I actually read that. He has dreams of playing for Man United. Like, wow, he's 31 years old and he is the best thing ever. You know, you know, best thing ever in athletics. Best ever, ever, ever to come out of Jamrak. You know, so... It would be awesome to see, but could he actually play football that well? I don't know. I really don't know. I think he's highly ambitious that he could be such a great athlete in um, track and field and make the switch over to football. Wow. Could it happen? Could it happen? But on to the next one. Come. Oh, man. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. But really sorry about that. Um, Red Squad Real Madrid are linked to Timo Werner. Um, okay, link to Timo Werner. I never heard about this um, transfer rumor yet, but I must say, I think Bayern Munich will scoop him up before Real Madrid does. That's my take on that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I want to see um, Bayern Munich miss out on Timo Werner, and he would, he would more pass through Bayern Munich first, then you know, they sell him to. Real Madrid, but I don't see him moving directly from RB Leipzig straight to um, Real Madrid. All right, next one. Um, Betel Kibidi is up in here. He said, hey, guys, don't forget to put Rich Squad at the end of your comment in order for me to pay attention to it. We need to have some order up in here because people just want to say anything and expect me to read it. Get a million comments in here on Red um, Elsie Ortega, can I tell you then? Okay, Elsie Ortega, what are you talking about? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. All right, Rich Squad, what about Sanchez? Okay, let's talk about Alexis Sanchez. Romario Jackson wants me to talk about Alexis Sanchez moving to Manchester City, man. So, we need this move because Gabriel Jesus is injured and... He might be out for a while. He might be out for a while. And look at today in the game versus Bristol City, Bernardo Silva played up front. I was like, what? I'm not saying he's not capable, but that's just not his natural position. Sanchez is capable of playing in that position. Aguero and, actually, you know, Gabriel Jesus. That's their positions that they play in. Sanchez is a very versatile forward. He could even play in the midfield on the wings as well. So, I don't know, man. I don't know if Bernardo Silva was a good fit up there. And it probably affected us. But look at what happened when Aguero came on. Bam. Done. But um, Sanchez, definitely, he's rumored to be moving for as little as £20 million. Pounds. Like, but Arsenal wants £35 million, you know? Because if Arsenal... Don't sell him now. If they don't sell him now, his contract ends six months from now. They would lose him for free. Like he would leave on a free. Arsenal would get no money from that deal. And they would miss out on 35 million pounds. And you know what Arsenal does with that kind of money. They, they might buy three to four, you know, mediocre players, you know, you know, and 
You know, you, you know what, you know what it is. You know what it is. But um, let's move on from the Alexis. I do want Alexis to come to Manchester City. That's one of the transfers I really, really want to see happen. And I'm waiting for it. I was waiting for it all day today. I was actually checking websites today just to see Alexis confirmed to Man City so I could make a video anywhere I'm at and just post it up. But um, the next transfer, okay, prime time. Okay, all right. Arturo Vidal to Chelsea, a lesser note. Probably not going to happen. Lewandowski to Chelsea. Okay, the Arturo Vidal rumor, I have, have seen that one floating around. Um, Kante want to link back up with Vidal. and It can definitely happen. When a coach wants a player he previously, you know, uh, managed. Sorry about that, guys. And I spilled my water. Sorry about that. Guys, I'm actually in the process of actually trying to upgrade my whole life setup and stuff like that. So we won't be crashing anymore. We won't be crashing anymore at all. But I was talking about Arturo Vidal. Arturo Vidal moving to Chelsea. That would be a big move, but I I think that would be it would be he would be just redundant. Like you have Bakayoko, you have Engolo Kante, you have Danny Drinkwater. You have um that guy that Ross Ross Barkley. You have um you're gonna have Arturo Vidal. Like what you need all these CDMs for? Why you, you know what you need all these defensive midfielders for? So that one I can see happening, but I don't think it's gonna happen just yet. Maybe in the summer if maybe N'Golo Kante moves on, you know, two seasons at Chelsea. Move on to a bigger team, maybe Real Madrid or even Barcelona, who knows? Or even PSG come in for him. That would be crazy. But um Arturo Vidal, Chelsea, I don't see it happening, but it could definitely happen. Alright, next transfer, guys. If I don't see a transfer, make sure you put it back. But um, did you hear that Man City are trying to sign Daniel Refi Rick Squad? Guys, I see Daniel Refi has become a big Manchester City fan. I really like that. Definitely like that. Okay. Daily Soccer 3. Can you guys watch my new video, please? Okay. No spamming in here, please. No spamming. Thank you very much. Any more spams and you know what's going to happen. No spamming. Do not spam because I don't spam. Like, I don't go to people's videos and spam. So, don't do it here. Definitely not. I don't like it. I think it's very, very disrespectful and it's very annoying. Definitely. I'm, I'm real today because today is a day I got a little pissed off, so I'm, I ain't holding nothing back. I, it's time It's time to, to, to get real. You know what I'm saying? I've been really soft. I've been really nice, you know, giving off this really, really, really super nice image. It's time to get real. It's time to get serious, man. Seriously. But anyways, let me move on to the next one. The Red Gamer said Icardi to Real Madrid. Definitely... This is not happening. Icardi will play Inter until, you know, he's 30 plus, you know. He's an Inter man and, and I, I don't see him leaving Inter right now at all. Inter isn't doing too bad, so why would he leave Inter, you know. He's a really good player, really, really clinical striker and he's been ripping it up in the Syria for a while now. Mauro Icardi. Paul Dybala, they all want him, but these guys, are they, they're loyal to their clubs. And I don't see Icardi moving to Real Madrid at all. Obama Young to China said Drift X01, RX01. This is a RX01. Um, Obama Young to China. This would be such a stupid move if Obama Young has to move to China. I will, I will, I will just done with being an Obama Young fan like... Arsenal wanted you. Real Madrid wanted you. You linked to Man City. You probably linked to United. You probably linked to every big club. And you're going to go to China for cash? Like, no, you already have cash already. Like, come on. Not necessary. And he shouldn't do it. Obama Young to China. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't want it to happen. If it happens, I'm done with Obama Young. Okay, on to the next one. All right. Isaiah so Taylor say hey hey guys it's your boy Isaiah Rich Squad what's up Isaiah definitely what's up Bethel Kibede what's up man all right Adnan is up in here he said 
Sanchez has been top scoring winger for the last three seasons. Definitely, I read out his stats in the last transfer show video and it was amazing. His stats is similar to Philip Coutinho's stats. They have, um, is it, Phil no, not Philip Coutinho, Eden Hazard. Him and Eden Hazard has a s almost the same stats, you know, but still Hazard is rated a little higher than Sanchez. But I don't know why. But um, anyways, let's move on from that. Okay. Carmack McCarthy, Rick Squad. The baller to Man U. That I have been seeing uh, floating around. Not happening. Man United, I think, is getting desperate. They are getting desperate. They are linked to all these big players. And I don't see it happening at all. The baller is going to stay with Juventus. He's going to stay there. Juventus needs him. Juventus is in the Champions League and they need him. They really do. And he's the future. So I don't see him moving at all. Okay. On to the next one. It's a lot, but on to the next one. Guys, don't, remember, don't forget to put Rick Squad at the end of your comment or I'm not going to do it. All right. Rick Squad is Tomah. Lemar overpriced. I think he's rate he's he's rated uh at 90 million pounds or euros. Like that's a lot of money. That's a lot. He's really good. Don't get me wrong, he's good, but I think it's a little overpriced. Definitely overpriced. He yeah, if he got if he okay, for example, he could only go for that price if he goes to the Premier League or he go to Barcelona, Real Madrid, or PSG. If he moves to any other club, let's say he moves to Juventus, Roma, one of the Italian clubs, he will not go for that much. If he moves to Bayern Munich, they will not pay that much for him. So it's just a matter of teams um, exploiting the Premier League money and they, they're saying, okay, if you want him, I guess you can pay £90 million pounds for him. But I really like this player. I think he, he should go to Liverpool instead of Arsenal. He's going to waste away at Arsenal, I think. I prefer him going to Liverpool. It's a more positive move for him with Liverpool being more attack-minded and, well, Jürgen Klopp being more attack-minded and him heavily rotating his players. Like, you're going to get opportunities if you're playing for Liverpool. Guaranteed. Definitely guaranteed. But uh, I don't know uh, about um, Daniel Sturridge, though, but um, I don't... Is he injured right now? Adnan, is direct Daniel Sturridge injured? You're a Liverpool man. You should know this. All right. Next question, guys. If I have a senior question, bring it back with a rich squad arm. Hashtag on it. Um, remember, only answering questions with rich squad on it. Definitely um, move on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. Um, all right. The wrath of rich squad. Fair the bed. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. You guys are funny. All right, Johnny, Ben Donnelly, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. Johnny Evans to Arsenal or Manchester City. I, I would love him to go to Arsenal over Man City, definitely. We don't need another John Stones up in here. Seems to be similar from, the, from a similar mold of defender. So he could go to Arsenal, definitely. For real. You know, he could join up with Rob Holden and Lauren Koscielny and Premier to Saka and all those guys over there. I don't want him at Manchester City. Just my opinion. So, no to Johnny Evans. Okay? All right. At Venko, he said, um, okay. Lemar is Klopp's number one target, but I think he's overrated. I would like Draxler or Mahrez over him. Anyone with a Riyad Mahrez um, transfer, let me know if you want me to talk about Riyad Ma Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Riyad Mahrez. Okay, okay. Um, Bruno Singer, what's up, man? All the way from Portugal. Coutinho signed for Barcelona. Definitely, I covered that in the last transfer show. Um, Philip Coutinho, big moves. Um, second highest ever transfer 
Well, it will be the third highest after Kylian Mbappe's loan move to PSG is made permanent. But right now, Philip Coutinho, then Neymar, Brazilians running the damn thing, man. Lucas Rosa, Santos, what's up? Welcome to the stream, man. But um, Coutinho, man, guys, do you think he's going to flop at Barcelona? Or do you think he's going to continue his mastery and light up the La Liga? What do you think? Let me know in the chat. I'm reading comments. But, um, okay. Sasha Kids is up in here all the way from Australia. What's up, man? Will Royce ever leave Dortmund? I would like to say he would not because of his injury problems. If he was fully fit, he would have gone already. He would have moved to Bayern Munich already. That move would have been seen, sealed, signed, sealed, and delivered. It would have been, it would have been a done deal already. Marco Royce, I really admire this player, but he just can't seem to, you know, keep himself fit. Similar to Vincent Company, like, what's going on with these guys? Similar to Daniel Sturridge, I really feel bad for players like this, man. Injuries just plaguing and ruining their careers. But, at Venko, Rich Squad, um, okay, I read that comment already, um, okay. At Venko again, the 17 year old wonder kid Ryan Sessegnon from Fulham to Man United. That's, that's a good move, but I don't think he's going to be utilized enough at Man United unless Mourinho wants to take a bold move and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to make a move, a really bold move. Um, move over Luke Shaw, move over Damian. You know, the, I'm talking about the fullbacks, you know. Move over Marcus Rojo, whoever be playing in that position. Ryan Sissinger, take over. Run at these, um, the, the, the right backs of the other team. Cross the ball in and let's see, make yourself a superstar. That I can see happening, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. He might go there and he might flop. He might flop. I, I don't know. I'm afraid to say that, but, um, all right. If I missed your comment, okay, um, Rich Squad, Better Kibede, when are you going to do the Group D live stream that I have told you I've been dying for about a while now, but yo, the Group D live stream is coming up pretty soon, man, it's coming up pretty soon, but you know, guys, 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 it's coming up pretty soon, I must say, I don't want to rush all the World Cup videos, it's coming up, it's coming up, man, it's coming up. All right, guys, if you just joined the stream, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button on this video one time. And if you want your questions answered, make sure to put the rich, rich, rich squad hashtag on it. All right, let's move on. Okay, Bruno Singer, I've seen your video on World Cup prediction. Thank you very much. Is that that new video today that Tannis was predicting the things? Okay. But, um, better, man, don't worry yourself, bro. Don't worry. Where you worry yourself for, man? Where you worry yourself for? The video will drop soon, man. I'm only one man. There's so much football playing right now. We have the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup. You, we have the, you know, the DFB Pokal coming up. We have, um, the English Premier League, Champions League. I'm, I'm covering a lot of these things. So, guys, bear with me. I'm dropping videos every single day. You know, and I just don't want to put out any and any videos. I'm trying to, to make, you know, even though some of the videos don't get a lot of views, it's not even about views sometimes. It's about saying your piece, you know, giving your opinion on that exact topic or whatever. If 200 people hear my opinion, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. But let's move on, guys. Let me see some comments. If I skipped your comment or I didn't see it, bring it back with a Rich Squad hashtag on it. Okay. All right. Skipping through a lot of these comments. Okay. LC Ortega. Here is one. Rakitic to Arsenal, Liverpool, or Juventus. Oh, I could definitely see Rakitic moving out. I could definitely see him moving out with Philip Coutinho being signed. What's going to happen to Rakitic? Like, come on. You know? So, Rakitic to Arsenal. Don't go to Arsenal. Definitely don't go to Arsenal. Juventus. That's a good move. That's a good move I could see happening. Always a good choice to move to Juventus. 
Look at what Pjanic did, move from Roma to Juventus, world-class player right there. Um, Rakitic, Juventus, good move, but wait till the summer. Definitely wait till the summer. Um, also said, um, LC said, um, Thomas Lemar to Liverpool, I already spoke about that already. Lucas Moura to Man United. Guys, if I have not actually read your comments, anyone said Lucas Mo Moura from PSG, the Brazilian to Man United, I'm sorry, but um, so um, that one I could definitely see happening because he's not being utilized that much at PSG with the you know the introduction of Neymar, Kylian Mbappe. You have Julian Draxler, you have a lot of competition over there, so might as well move over, you know, make a big move to Man United if they want you. That's a big move. Man United is definitely. If not the biggest, one of the biggest clubs in the world. So why not? You could tell your kids, your grandkids, I played for Man United. Definitely, you have a chance of winning trophies if they get lucky. You know, but um, Griezmann moving to Man United for 400 million pound wages. Oh man, that's a lot of money, man. I don't, oh man, that move should have happened already. That move should have happened, but Griezmann, he felt pity for Atletico Madrid. He held on for, you know, the rest, the, the, the season, the new season, because Atletico Madrid had a transfer ban. But, you know, mm, 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 mm. Mm. will Griezmann go to Man United? Mm. I don't think he will make a difference at Man United, to be honest, and I said that already. Like, Man United, like, they just want to sign these marquee players, like, big, you know, sign players with a purpose, man. Sign them with a purpose. Look, you have guys like Jesse Lingard there. Okay, when he come in, what's, what's going to be, what's going to happen to Lingard? Who's ripping it up right now in the Premier League? Who's ripping it up for Man United? One of their most improved players. Like, come on, what are you going to do with him if you bring over Griezmann, if you bring over Mora? You got to appreciate what you have and work with what you have. You already spent the money last summer. Work with what you have. If players get injured or players don't work out, you know, sell them, loan them out, bring in players. But just can't keep bringing in and bringing in and bringing in. Let's see if this one work. Okay, let's see if that one work. Oh, that didn't work. Let's bring it in. No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like that. You know, so, uh, okay. Next, next comment. Um, Diego Bravo is up in here. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Okay, Drift RX01, who is your favorite player of all time? Well, I have a lot of favorite players, but one of my favorite players of all time is definitely Rivaldo, the Brazilian. I could always remember growing up and on TV they used to show that bicycle, that famous bicycle kick goal that he scored. You know, I think he was playing for Barcelona at that time and it was that always, you know, click in my head. Yes, Gabriel Batistuta. Of course, but note I said one of my favorite, one of my favorite players, you know? Note that. Note. But definitely Gab Gabriel Batistuta. I think I um I had a Fiorent I said I had a Fiorentina shirt that I used to imagine that was him, you know, and stuff like that. I seen him a few times. And yes. But let's move on. Okay, um Ben Donnelly. Do you think Cavani would leave PSG for Man United? I don't see that one happening at all. Definitely not. Definitely not. Cavani is a good player, but he misses a lot, a lot, a lot of chances. And it would be more frustration for Mourinho. Like, he would definitely pull his hair, pull all of his hair out this time with Cavani. You know? Plus, Cavani needs really good service. He's a, he's a, Really, you know, like he's a he he's that guy who's up in the box. He's not a creative player who's gonna, you know, what I mean, go around three defenders and score. He needs service, and I don't know, man. I think he should stay at PSG. I like him at PSG. So Romario Jackson, okay, I can see your comment. He said Cavani is not ready, definitely. Cavani definitely said already for Manchester United. Okay, LC Ortega, Walcott and Zanzi to Everton. Okay, so Tio Walcott, a load move from 
Arsenal to Everton. Theo Walker definitely need to leave Everton. Um, not Everton. Leave Arsenal. Like he's just rotting away at the, on the bench. And that match versus Forrest. Like you could see it. You could definitely see it. You know, he, he wasn't clinical. He had a few chances. He could have been a little bit more, you know, um, he, he was on his heels. He was definitely on his heels. And that cost Arsene all the game, I must say. I must say. But Arsene Wenger, man, you need to do better. You need to give the guys more um, more um, time, man. Why is Theo Walker not getting any time and Alex Iwobi is getting pushed so much? Like Alex Iwobi isn't that good. I don't think he's that good. To be honest. Really don't think he's that good. Like I'm gonna keep it a hundred right now in the, the live stream. Definitely. Okay, um what you call it? Um Manchester United strike with Sid. What's up, Sid? Manchester United manager and Mourinho. Well, I think he's um Mourinho, yeah? Um said sign Kante, I'm gone. I actually saw that, but I don't think that's true. Like I don't think that's true. Like Chelsea, they need N'Golo Kante. When N'Golo Kante is not playing for Chelsea, you can see a big difference in the Chelsea team. Look for it, guys. Look for it. Go do your research and you go see what me are talking about. Okay, but um, next comment. Okay, Harry Kane to Barcelona or Real Madrid. Rich squad Ben Donnelly is on fire right now. Um, Definitely could see him moving to Real Madrid. With Benzema, you know, not doing so well, they need a clinical striker. So, Harry Kane to Real Madrid, mm, could see it happening, but next summer, not this summer, next summer. Plus, Real Madrid would offer him way more money than Tottenham Hotspur is offering him. Tottenham Hotspur, very, very cheap club. They don't pay their players very high, and I could see him moving on. If they don't offer him a more lucrative contract. Okay. Next. Allison. Okay. Lucas. Allison to Liverpool. That's a good move. Because that's not a bad move at all. Maybe um, Allison to Liverpool. Chesney. Uh, not Chesney. Um, Minule to Roma. Maybe. Maybe. A swap deal. That could happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. Because I think Jurgen Klopp, what he's doing, he's probably one of the only, one of the only, or few managers rotating their goalkeepers. Like, you know, Minule would play one match, then Klavan would play the other match. And I'm talking about big matches. It's not just, you know, I like, I really like, I've really admired Jurgen Klopp since his um, Dortmund days, I must say, man. I like what he's doing. He's trying to keep most of his players happy, if not all. But, um, AVJ just got back from work. I just, I came right off of work, guys. Was watching the City versus Bristol City match. And I said I had to live stream today. Definitely had to take, you know, uh, 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 45 minutes to an hour. The most, an hour stream is ending in 12 minutes. To actually, you know, chat with you guys and get this transfer talk show on the road which i'm gonna do all throughout january but guys little info for you guys who are in here right now and for those who actually watch the stream when it's posted um i'm going on vacation in a few weeks so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to upload anything at all if i upload anything it will be like a 30 second video because i will be out i will be far away and i don't know if i'm gonna have service so i definitely try to upload something short 30 clips short 30, 30 second clips you know because man manchester city is gonna be playing during the time i'm gone maybe two matches so i'm gonna miss those matches but i still will check the results and i will give you guys like a one minute or 30 second reaction all right, okay, back to the thing. Jack Butlin to Liverpool to avoid relegation with Stoke. Could definitely happen, and he could definitely look for a move to help his England career. Definitely, but maybe not Liverpool. Maybe not Liverpool, though. I, I don't think Liverpool is... Look, is Liverpool looking for a keeper? I, I don't think they are. I don't think they are. But 
Okay. Prime time. Okay. Red Squad, what do you do for work? I'm a thermodynamic engineer. I have my own company. Wow. If you're a thermodynamic engineer, um, there's a, what you call it there? Super chat button. Click it. Donate some video to your boy, man. Some money, I mean. But um, what you call it? I'm a mechanic. I'm an auto mechanic. I work at the airport. A lot of people know that. A lot of you guys know that. So, you know, fun job. Get to see planes. Get to walk underneath planes and stuff like that all day. I'm not an aircraft mechanic, but, you know, I, I get to... You know, be up close and personal with the aircraft. Okay, next, Ronaldo to PSG at Benko this summer. It could happen. It could definitely happen. I'm not, listen, when it comes to PSG, nothing is impossible. Okay, remember that. Nothing is impossible when it comes to PSG. Manchester City as well. These people got money up their assholes, man. I'm telling you. But, uh, okay, um, Romario Jackson, um... When, what about Leon Bailey to Chelsea? Good one, very good one. Thank you very much. He's a Jamaican um, attacking player. I really like Leon Bailey. I heard him talk to, he speak Jamaican, you know? So, okay. Do I want to see Leon Bailey move out of Leverkusen? I think he's having a really good spell with by Leverkusen right now. They didn't do too well last season. So, for him to move right now, I don't think he should. But he has nothing to lose. You know, he has nothing to lose. So, a move wouldn't hamper his chances of going to the World Cup. Because his team now go at the World Cup. So, you know, he should move. He's going to get more money. But Liverpool? Oh, Liverpool. Chelsea. Arsenal. I think he's linked to all these teams. That would be Tottenham Hotspur will be a good move as well. You know, he is, he's going to get a lot of opportunity. Don't forget, guys. Don't forget, not reading your comment if Rich Squad is not on it. Sorry. So whoever is commenting, 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 you ain't going to get read up. Okay. Um, Adnan said, have fun on your vacation, Rich Squad. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Let me read through these things, see if I miss anything. Okay, um, let me see. Okay, LC Ortega, thank you very much, LC. Um, Chelsea won Alexandro for left back. He's also linked to Manchester United. Really good player. He used to play for Porto, moved on to Juventus, and now he's being linked to bigger clubs. So that means they are rating him very, very highly. Okay, very, very good. Um, I like Alexandro, Brazilian. I think he should make the Brazilian um, World Cup squad as well. It would have Marcelo and, what you call it, Alexandro as his backup. Or maybe if they, you know, play a weaker team, Alexandro could slot right in. Um, okay. Lucas said, Rich Squad, Alexander over Philippe Luiz. Of course, Philippe Luiz is a very industrious player. He will give you hard work 100%. He would be honest, but I think Alexandro, I, I, I prefer him over Philippe Luiz. Definitely, he's a younger option and, you know, a wiser option too. Okay. Um, Rich Squad, where are you going on vacation? Wherever you are going. Well, I definitely can't give out all the information right now. Because, you know, you know, just, I just can't give out the information right now. When I come back or uh, while I'm there, you guys will know. I just can't give out too much information right about now, though. All right. Okay. So, Advanco said, Rich Squad, I heard that Chelsea won Chiellini. Of course, man. Antonio Conte is being linked to all these um, Italian players. You see, he already brought in the VD Zappacosta. And he is proven to be a revelation at Chelsea. And nobody knew about Zappacosta when he played for Torino. I knew about him because I actually used Torino in FIFA 17. And he's, he's doing really well. He's doing really well, I must say. So you could definitely look out for some more Italian signings by Antonio Conte. 
So Omar M, what's up, man? He said, SVG, no, I'm not going to St. Vincent this time. Maybe in the summertime, but not right now. Um, will you go to the beach? Definitely will be on the beach. Definitely. I'm going to do a video when I get to the beach. And it's going to... I'll definitely have service then. And I'll try to upload a video from the beach. You know? Okay, big one. LC Ortega, thank you very much. You're on fire right now. Leon Goretzka to Bayern Munich from Schalke 04 in the German Bundesliga. Highly rated youngster. You see he ripped apart the Confederations Cup last year. And Leon Goretzka will inevitably move to Bayern Munich. If he doesn't, you know, that would be a, a big surprise. You know, that would be a really big surprise. Unless he wants to venture out and try his, um, ply his trade in another country. So, look out for Bayern Munich signing Leon Goretzka for maybe about, um, let me see, 25 million euros maybe. Okay, um, Omar M. Rich Squad, he said, um, West Ham interested in El Nene and Kakalon. Okay. These players are being wasted at Arsenal. Another, you know, bunch of players being wasted at Arsenal. Guys, believe it or not, right now I'm in my um, 2026 in my um, career mode save in FIFA 17. I'm still playing FIFA 17. I have FIFA 18 on my PS4 since September 25th and I have not been playing it. I don't know why. Wasted $100 to buy the, the, the special edition and everything. But Cockalon is still playing for Arsenal in 2026 in the game. Believe it or not. I ain't lying. I ain't making this up. El Nene is still playing for Arsenal. You know, so these players moving, I'm like, oh, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. And guess what? Virgil van Dijk was still playing for Southampton in 2026. You know, so... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, Baba to Schalke. Is this Baba Raman? Baba Raman, Chelsea defender. Is it? Didn't he move to, to um, Schalke though? Where did he move to on a loan move? Where did he move to on a loan move? All right, Diego Bravo, chill out yourself or you're going to get blocked. Today is not the day, okay? Definitely, let's move on. LC Ortega, AC Milan want to... Sign Musa Dembele from Tottenham. You forgot the hashtag Rich Squad, but I let you off on that one since you've been providing very good stuff. Musa Dembele, oh man, what should I say about him? He's really good in the Scottish Premier League, but oh, do he want to test his skills in another league? I think he should come to the English Premier League and ply his trade over there. Brighton was a link to him. Chris Hewton, um, don't play the move, but. I could definitely see that one happening with Glenn Murray aging. You know, it would only be right if they sign a, you know, a good striker if they want to stay up. But guys, have you noticed? Have you noticed that the Glenn Murray of Brighton Hove and Albion and Sink Tucson, formerly of Besiktas, now of Everton, looks exactly alike have you guys ever noticed that glenn murray and Saint tucson are they like the same people like guys have you ever noticed that like i've i've been noticed i'm like what is Saint tucson playing for brighton oh no it's glenn murray but anyways um mm, yeah so neang left ac milan to torino rich squad sorry okay I did not see that one, but um, but oh yes, I did. I think I did see that one, but that happened a while. That happened before though. He went out there alone, I think, to Torino. Yeah, I, that that's a that happened in the summer, I think. Musa Dembele from Tottenham, not the Celtic one. Oh, <laughs> whoa, yo, 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 yo. Musa Dembele, there are two Musa Dembele's, I forgot, man. But yes, yes, that could definitely happen, man. All these players are just, you know, not being well utilized, and I could definitely see that. Primetime said, Rich Squad, where will Krykoviak end up? 
I think Krykoviak is on loan at West Bromwich Albion. Like, how could you go from being such a highly rated player from Sevilla on the Unai Emery, and then Emery moves to PSG, signs him, he flops, don't know how, don't know how he flopped in Ligue 1. Guys, Ligue 1 is a, like, if you watch Ligue 1, it's a pretty easy league, you know. It's a pretty easy league. Like, I, I have never seen so many penalties being given out in Ligue 1, man. Pretty easy league, you know. I'm not downplaying the league, but it's pretty easy, you know what I'm saying. If you go look at the table right now, the top four teams have all plus goal differential and then maybe one or two teams all the other teams are in like minus minus um 20 minus 15 goal differential because guess why psg play against them and batter in six and seven and five and you know so come on man krykoviak I, I really don't know how you you flopped in france but Rakitic to Juventus strike with Sid. I already discussed that. I definitely could see that one happening with the Coutinho move just being sealed. But definitely could see that one happening. Rick Squad at Venko. Emery chant to Juventus on a free this summer. Definitely I've heard him being linked to Juventus for a while. Definitely could see that one happen as well. That's a good move with um, Kidera actually aging. Juventus is probably looking to, you know what I mean... You know, turn him over. Maybe Kadira go back to um Germany, finish out his career, which he started off so well in. Um, so definitely could see the Emery Chad move going down. Fisher of Men. Oh, what a name. Will Barca still play 4-3-3? Sorry, I should not have read it. Um, well, you just joined the thing. I, I, I'm not a Barca man, so I don't really know their formation either. I think Pep Guardiola plays a... 4-3-3 formation, but um, definitely. Um, Rich Squad, Vendel to Sport in Lisboa. I definitely spoke about that one already. I spoke about that one earlier. Look, it's right here. Look, look, look. See it right there? Um, Vendel. See that? Vendel to, from Fluminense. Fluminense to Sport in. I did talk about that one already. But um, Omar M. Rich Squad, off-topic question. But would Portugal win a World Cup with Mourinho as coach? Great question. Great question. You have to ask yourself, would Mourinho let go of his, let's say, his ego and say, you know what? You know what? I'm going to coach these Portuguese um, youngsters. I'm going to take the helm. 2022 World Cup. I'm in. Let's do this. I doubt, man. I doubt. I doubt. He's just, he just wants more and more and more glory with big clubs. That's it. Which club will he move to next? Big question. He have not went to France yet. And he haven't moved to Germany. He haven't gone to Germany yet. So maybe Germany. Maybe he'll be the next coach of Bayern, manager of Bayern Munich. Who, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? What if they just go, go to a slump, fail to make top four, you know, don't make Champions League, Get knocked out of the the the, the um the, the cups and uh, you know they already knocked out of the the Carabao Cup. Get knocked out of the FA Cup. Get knocked out of the Champions League. Mourinho gets the sack. He goes straight over to Bayern Munich. You could all we could see that one happening. Okay. You saying Bolt to Borussia Dortmund? Definitely have spoken about that one already. Um, have spoken that one. A trial with Borussia Dortmund to try to get to uh, Manchester United. Spoke about that one. All right, Musa Marega to a lower prem team. I don't know much about Musa uh, Marega to be honest. Keeping it a hundred, don't know who he is really. Haven't seen him play. Suso to Spurs for swap deal for Deli Ali. No, 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 no. Do you even want this move? Like Suso plays for um, AC Milan, I think, and no, Deli Ali is. He's a class player. I don't really like him. I don't really like him. Fisher of Man, don't forget. Oh, you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Leave the hashtag Rich Squad behind your comment to get it noticed. Definitely. That's how you get your questions noticed from now on. You get your questions noticed in two ways. 
Hashtag Rich Squad. I know it's kind of difficult to be putting it all the time. Or if you donate to Super Chat, which nobody does. So make sure you put the hashtag Rich Squad behind your comment. All right. Marega plays for Porto. He's their top goal scorer with 13 goals. Oh, well, that could definitely see him move into a bigger club. Like Porto always sell their best players. Benfica, Sporting, Porto, Southampton, all these clubs. That's what they do. Sevilla, Monaco, Borussia Dortmund, Hoffenheim. The list goes on, man. The list goes on. But, yo. Okay, what about Sanchez to PSG? Sanchez has been linked to PSG, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think he is going to go to Manchester City, and that's where I want him to go. Guys, the stream has now been one hour. I'm going to end the stream right now. Thanks, everyone, for joining the second episode of my live transfer show. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have a new list the next time the show is being held and the more players get transfers transferred, the quicker the show comes back around. Maybe tomorrow or Thursday, I'll do another show. But guys, man, thank you very much for joining the, um, the live stream. I really appreciate you guys coming back and showing me, you know, the love, showing me the attention. Okay. Definitely. Okay, last question. Last question. I never seen Fisher of Men before, so I'm gonna pay him a little attention. Definitely. Um, yes, yes, Lucas. I did talk about Vendel to um Sporting, did talk about it. But last question to end off the stream, guys. Last topic to end the stream. Stay with me. How will Liverpool invest that lump sum? Maybe they got like 105 million pounds from that Philip Coutinho deal. How are they going to reinvest it? First of all, they just spent £75 million on Virgil van Dijk. So let's just say they only got $25,000 left. £25, 25 million pounds left from the Philip Coutinho deal. When you really look at it, that's what it is. So... If they want to go back to even, you know, make things even, they could look for a player for £25 million. Pounds. Preferably a defender. Because your defense is garbage. You know what I'm saying? So look at what Virgil van Dijk did in his debut. Like, he was awesome, man. He was, you know, exemplary, you know, in his debut. Uh, you know what I mean? Justified a £75 million price tag scored a winner you know to sink everton like come on merseyside derby FA cup third round like come on what a way to you know what i mean enter into the limelight man but i definitely think um <laughs> i'm gonna allow that comment at Benko. definitely allow the comment um i need to take that word sucks out of the the, the filter though but I think they should invest the 25 million pound in a, in a defender. That would be a good move. Look for one of these highly rated defenders from one of the smaller clubs and invest in them. I don't know who. Maybe that guy from Burnley, that to Tokoski guy. Maybe, but Burnley don't want to sell. But I think that's what they should do with their money. I hope that answers your question, Fisher of Men. Welcome to the channel. You know, make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you smash the like button for this video. You guys haven't been smashing the like button, but it's all right. Um, don't forget to go to Spreadshirt.com, guys. Support the channel. Get your Rich Squad merchandise. Check it out, man. Show your support. And, you know, thanks, everyone, for joining. Say something nice before you leave. I'm reading out the comments. Say something nice. Forget about the transfers, man. You know, say something nice to your boy before you leave. Adnan, are you still in here? My mods, I got a few mods up in here. Thank you very much, guys, for joining the live stream again. You know, thank you, thank you very much. The live stream is ending for whoever just came in, man. Um, Yeah, um, Romara Jackson, save that Mohamed Salah one for the next live stream. Definitely, we'll talk more about that. 
give my peace on that. But guys, man, thanks for everyone for joining the live stream and for watching my videos and for showing me your support, man. You know, really appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. And until next time, peace out. And rich squad. <laughs>